I'm News Director Doug Jenkins, and this is a WFIN Timeline. The University of Finlay recently filed its defense against a civil lawsuit filed by two former student athletes. The history of the case stretches back to the fall of 2014, and here's a look at what's happened so far. So on September 21st of 2014, a female student listed in court documents only as MK would leave a party and go back to the home of some University of Finley athletes. What happened after that led to the filing of a sexual assault complaint filed against Alfonso Beatty, a star on the University of Finley basketball team, and Justin Browning, a linebacker for the football team. However, court documents filed in the case give conflicting details on what exactly happened. In a complaint filed with university officials on October 1st of 2014, MK claimed to be sexually assaulted by Beatty and Browning, and this would launch the investigation in question by the attorneys for the young men. In the claim, MK admitted to having sex with both Beatty and Browning, but claimed that she had too much to drink to give consent. However, in a court filing made late last year, Beatty and Browning said that MK consented to the sex, never having given any indication that she wasn't doing anything voluntarily. So those are the conflicting versions of the story. What we know for sure, though, is what happened next. The university would hold an investigation, and Beatty and Browning would be expelled. Details of that expulsion would come to light a couple of days later when the university sent out an all-campus email detailing their accounts of the investigation and expulsion. The details of the email were confirmed to the media, and President Dr. Catherine Fell and Vice President for Student Affairs Dave Emsweller spoke to WFIN about that decision. I'm very sad that it happened, and I hope that other young people will learn from this incident. But anytime these kinds of things happen, they are tragic for all parties involved. It deeply concerns me, and I want our students to be safe. I want them to feel safe, and I want them to report anything that happens and ask for help right away. Now, things stayed relatively quiet until late last year. That's when Beatty and Browning sued the university in a civil rights complaint. Among the many accusations were that the investigation was racially motivated, that a false report was given about the night in question, certain witnesses were not allowed to give their account, and that the university should not have named Beatty and Browning publicly. The university would only issue a statement following the filing of that suit, saying in part, quote, we will vigorously defend the process and our decision. That defense would come late last month when the school filed a defense against the suit. As you would expect, the university denied the decision to expel Beatty and Browning had anything to do with race. They also claimed that MK was too intoxicated to give consent whether she protested or not. They also denied that the investigation was a, quote, sham. So that's where the case stands now, and certainly there's plenty more legal back and forth to be done before the case is resolved. I'm Doug Jenkins, and this was a WFIN Timeline.